How's it going, my fellow freedom fighters? And today I have a really exciting guest for you guys today. You know, literally, Ian <laughs> Bellina. I don't know if you guys are aware of him. If you guys don't even know who he is and you're in the crypto market space, the cryptocurrency space, you're literally crazy because this guy, literally, I mean, I think you were the first person that I saw that initially fully got me into just like. Into crypto? Not, not uh, into crypto. I have like a buddy that like I saw his like black folio and it was like crazy. Uh -huh. But after seeing your videos and the way you analyze things, you know, just the way he analyzes things, understanding that, you know, it's not a game. This is not financial advice and stuff like that. But when you actually have the data uh -huh. and the analysis behind it, you know, you could really create some crazy amounts of income. Like literally. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. You, so <laughs> I, I come from a background where I leverage data yeah. to invest. Well, not investing, but to just okay. do everything, right? To mm -hmm. hack life. Yeah. Right? So my channel is called Hacking the System, right? And I was like, hey, why don't we use data to invest in ICOs and yeah. cryptocurrencies and brand new projects to make as much money as possible? Mm -hmm. I began doing that, began doing live streams, just sharing my analysis, my research, and pe people like that. And right? mm. then we noticed that we're actually onto something, right? It kind of became a movement. Yeah. We called us Token Metrics. Yeah. Right? To a point where in, in the last one month, we had three ICOs do 50x. Mm. Now we're about to have a fourth one when one chain comes out, right? Okay. And this is all from just looking at the data, yeah. Because right? the data gives you the golden crumbs, right? Mm -hmm. So hey, you know what? This ICO is pretty good. This ICO is undervalued. This ICO is overvalued, right? So it helps you stop picking ICOs based on luck, based on gut feeling, but on actual data. Yeah, and and I think the really crazy thing, okay, guys, because you guys like success stories. You like seeing people that come from nothing to something, and this is kind of what I, what I like to focus on, right? Because the yeah. data, everyone's gonna like fall in love with that. But I think what people are gonna fall in love with is just like the re relatability with you. You know, uh -huh. like yesterday we were um, here in Pattaya, we met up, and the biggest reason that like I was inspired to follow him is you. You have someone that was like in the corporate world for the entire time, literally went from like zero starting last year yeah. to three million, and like this is. Financial Actually, advice. Actually, four million now. Oh, it's four million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my yeah. bad. My On bad. The way up. <laughs> well, just the craziest thing with like the growth of that and you know right now there's no industry out there there's nothing out there that you could actually get these gains and we are in an opportunity in our life where as long as you are smart and you understand the the trends and you are just ahead of the trends you know you could actually make something of yourself but what, what i really want to focus on is you know everyone we were at the meetup everyone's like ian you know i want to take a picture with you like he was literally like this this superstar yesterday like all these guys were buying him drinks everyone was like having a good time but what i want a lot of people to understand is it wasn't always like that right there was no. a time yeah. where you literally like had nothing you, you were stuck financially maybe and then kind of bring me back to those days before crypto and how you actually got into crypto oh before crypto yeah so my broke days would have to go all the way back to college. Damn. <laughs> the ramen noodle <laughs> like, diet. No, I mean, like, I, I barely had two pennies. What? <laughs> right? I was just a broke college yeah. kid getting by, doing engineering, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Right? But it didn't really make sense until I graduated. Right? Mm -hmm. I was an engineer, computer engineer. Right? All, all into books and all that stuff. But once I graduated and I got my first job, yeah. like my first corporate job, uh -huh. I'm like, holy shit. Like, all this makes sense now. Like, mm -hmm. all this was worth it. I became a made man then. Yeah. Right? So that's, that's kind of that's where the whole term came from. Mm -hmm. Right? So I was like, you know what? I'm making money now, but what's next? Mm -hmm. Right? Because I had a job at IBM, worked there for four years. Yeah. Good job, making six figures. But I'm like, they still owned me. I was yeah. still a six figure slave, I call it. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I recall last year I was in Tokyo for vacation. Fell in love with the, with the culture, Japan, Tokyo, Osaka. Wanted to stay there for like just three months. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I can't do that. I have to go back because my vacation days run out. Yeah, I have to go back to the corporate world. Even though I was making good money, they still controlled my freedom. Mm -hmm. So I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna go back, tunnel vision, attack the skill of corporate retirement, right? And I call this crypto retirement. Crypto right? retirement. Right. But back then, I wasn't hardcore into crypto then either. No. Right. This was around February, so came back, began making content on how to make money. Right. Basically, on just how to make, find a six-figure job, how to make money in your twenties through side hustles, freelancing, okay. being, a, being an entrepreneur. Yeah, like I've, YouTube and blogging. Yeah. I was like checking yeah. it out. So I was doing that for a bit. Mm. Then I made a, I made some content on crypto and Bitcoin. Mm. My whole audience was like, hey, Ian, you know what? All your other stuff is good, but stop. Just make <laughs> Bitcoin and crypto stuff. <laughs> I'm like, cool. Began making more crypto stuff. Yeah. This kind of took off from there. Right? And, I, and I brought this whole brand new approach to it because I've kind of been an entrepreneur. Yeah. I've been a developer. Mm -hmm. I've been a hacker. I've been a businessman, right? From, from, yeah. from the corporate world, right? So I brought all these different experiences together to kind of make content in a very unique way oh it is so freaking right? unique just seeing the way you do it your style and everything and it's like so inspirational and just like seeing the growth dude it's 
It's phenomenal. So, like, you started back then. You had a job. Yeah. Slavery thing. I think the craziest thing, man, is your ability to see opportunity before other people could actually see it, you know? To see the gold in a pile of just, like, crap. Right, right. And, and I think that's what separates you from other entrepreneurs that are just chasing the next get-rich-quick thing uh-huh. instead of finding something that, you know, this is, like, your baby. This is what you're going to... Like fall in love with this is what you're gonna grow and build and now what i want to do is like what was that initial jump to crypto because like everyone that's like watching this right a lot of people are job shipping their affiliate marketing right but, and, and they want to know more about crypto and they're like mike like tell me more i'm like dude i can't tell you much but like here's my homie ian right, right, right. what what made you have that belief that holy crap this is the next big thing this is facebook yeah. this internet i mean so i don't think you can have that feeling when you first get in you have to kind of just sample it try it out yeah then after a while you'll have your i call coming to jesus crypto moment okay jesus right? Crypto. <laughs> right? Yeah. so with me i was working at, at ibm yeah. my friend from college said hey ian can you put me in touch with the director of blockchain at ibm I'm like, what do you care about blockchain? He's like, oh, I'm doing blockchain development company. Yeah. I'm, I invest in Bitcoin. I'm doing this crypto fund. I'm like, hold up, hold up. You can invest in Bitcoin? He's like, yeah. I'm like, as a, as a money guy, I'm like, how much money are you making? <laughs> right? He's like, oh, just 200% just holding Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay. And I'm like, 200%? That beats the stock market, 20%. That beats index but Yeah, price. right, because 20% <laughs> is, is like amazing in one year. Yeah. So 200%, I'm like, I'm sold. But I was still kind of skeptical, yeah. right? So I, I go on Coinbase, just put, put in like 100 bucks of of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah. Just like something small, right? Mm-hmm. Goes up 25% the first month. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Come back, put in 250 of each Bitcoin and Ethereum. Goes up like 30% in like a month and a half. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, right? I come back, put in 2,500 in both Bitcoin and Ethereum. This was like after like three months. Okay. Ethereum went, doubled. It went from like 10 bucks to like 20 bucks yeah. in a week and a half. I'm like, I just made 25 extra bucks just in a week and a half from Ethereum. I'm like, guys, I think we're onto something. Like, let's put in more money. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, I began putting in like about five grand every other month or so, right? And I became fully more active in crypto. That's when I truly became a believer. Mm-hmm. When I saw Ethereum just like skyrocketing like a week and a half. Yeah, because it was like eight right? bucks. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. That's like a thousand. Then the next step was once I became a believer, seeing Ethereum double in like a week and a half, I went began going to crypto conferences. My first one was Token Summit, right? Went there, it was an ICO conference. And meeting other people face to face, we made a million mm-hmm. just from investing in ICOs and cryptos and bl- blockchain projects. And talking to them face to face and seeing, hey, they're real people. They're just guys in the basement, mm-hmm. right? Trying to hustle and, and pump some scams, right? I'm like, okay, you know what? This is actually legit, right? Having dinner with them, having wine, talking with the founders, stuff like that made everything so real. Mm-hmm. I'm like, guys, we have to go all in on this. So after I came back, I was basically not, I was barely working at I, I, IBM anymore, right? I mean, I was working, but I was, barely, I was, I was clocked out. You were clocked out yeah, right here. Yeah, mentally, <laughs> mentally, mentally. Uh, my, I, was, I was gone. You're just like, right? crypto, crypto, so crypto. Every day, 24 7, just crypto, 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 trying to figure out that edge, right? Mm-hmm. And I, after a while, I was like, you know what? Our, our edge, at least my edge, was data, right? Because I could have a background in data and analytics. Yeah. So I began u- using that edge and it panned out. Dude, it was, it was freaking wrong. I just want to, like, hone in on one thing that he said all right guys because like i said a lot of you guys like you hear the videos you see the videos you're like oh my god crypto that's cool but like it's just this unknown and you try to get into it you're watching more videos you're consuming more content but either way you know they don't have the belief in themselves and i think what you're doing differently than any other crypto influencer out there on youtube on social media on twitter on anything which everyone should follow by the way to me a link in the description is you're creating this community it's movement it's like almost like a revolution a crypto right, revolution, yeah, crypto revolution where suits, right. like i was in the exact same thing man i i, I got into crypto last week okay i got into crypto last week i was like okay i'll put in a hundred bucks i'll put in a thousand bucks i'll put in three thousand bucks and then like i saw your videos and i was like okay i truly believe the best way to get good at something is to go to people that have the results that you want right you yeah. want to get a basketball michael jordan soccer david beckham crypto ian bellino you know and um i came over here we were hanging out with wine yesterday we met with like the wolf of polonix yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. um normal people you wouldn't even think man these normal average people that have like they're, they're so humble yet they have just huge portfolios and seeing how real it is that oh my god they're normal they're average they they have two eyes i have two eyes they have five fingers yeah. ten fingers i have ten fingers if they could do it what's stopping me yeah yeah exactly and why not you yeah why not you so now i kind of want to like talk about dude like the the first big investment right you, you were you're uh-huh. dollar cost averaging you're putting five grand yeah. let's talk about icon because that was like a big, okay, big, big, big that one, was yeah. that was that was like your baby when did you know how do you like look at all the coins because there's like thousands of coins out there not yeah. just bitcoin or ethereum but how do you, how, when you looked at Icon, you got it at 11 cents, it's now like eight bucks, nine bucks. 
how do you know that was a winner? I mean, so Icon came to me came to me via my live stream, right? Okay. So every week or so, I have a live stream where my audience brings me different projects. Yeah. And we go through and basically analyze them live on the air. Okay. Right. So somebody told me, hey, this Korean ICO is the next Neo or whatever, next yeah. Korean I- Korean Ethereum. Mm-hmm. So we went through live on the air. It was like. I think probably like half an hour long analysis and at the end I'm like guys this is, this is it. it man like oh, I'm man. going all in yeah all right <laughs> so yeah. next thing you know I uh, hit up uh, men who was with the, with the icon team yeah and he happened to be based in San Francisco okay so we we're going there for a conference anyway so I linked up with them for lunch got in, got in into their pre-sale and stuff and it ended up being a winner mm-hmm. I mean but I knew even then right after my analysis like guys this is big because mm-hmm. it was a big project Great team, solid backgrounds with a product already. Mm-hmm. It was a, it was a no brainer. Yeah, let's actually talk about that process because I was looking at it. You like like w- what are the things you look for then? It was the team, the product, the kind of can you- yeah. So right now, the main things I look for is having a prototype, okay. right? Having a, some kind of ship code, right? Whether mm-hmm. it's uh, MVP, alpha, beta, testnet, even a mainnet launch, okay. right? Of, of the blockchain project. Then the all star team, right? Anybody can have an idea. And in crypto, everybody has an idea. Everyone right? has Because it's basically idea. a gold rush for free, for easy money, right? Mm-hmm. But you have to invest in a team that can execute on that, that idea. Okay. Right? So for me, it's an all-star team, right? So I, I basically act as a job recruiter. Okay. And I tell myself, would you hire this person if you're working at Google, Amazon, mm-hmm. Facebook, Uber? Yeah. Right? Would you hire this person, right? And then the next thing I look for is all-star advisors, right? So all-star team, all-star advisors, those are the people who basically have the partnerships, the mentorship, the expertise to help guide the core team towards their vision. Right? And then also the community, right? Are they able to actually build a community around their product? Mm-hmm. If not, then it's pointless, right? I mean, sure, the project could be good, but if there's no community, there's no volume on exchanges, mm-hmm. right? And that's what matters in crypto, right? It's trading volume. Yeah. And so all those things kind of come together to kind of give you a good project, a good, good ICO. Cool. Now, I have like a re- really good question. Um, say now you had the ability to just go into the time machine and go back to like when you first heard about crypto. Uh-huh. What are three things that you would tell that Ian Bellina to do differently in like your journey onto where you are right now? Which is, is insane because it's not even been a year and it, right, right. You, you turned what little you had to four million dollars. So if I could go back and give advice, yeah, I would say don't day trade or swing trade. Okay. Right? I mean, if you want to just do stuff like that, just buy the top 10 cryptos. Okay. And just put that off as the long-term portfolio. Mm-hmm. Right? Then put the rest of your money into ICOs. Mm-hmm. Right? But specifically, new blockchains. Not dApps, infrastructure broad projects, right? Specifically new blockchains like the Icons, yeah. the Wand Chains, the Neos, the Ethereums, the R Chains, right? Aeon, right? All these new blockchain projects is where the value is right now. Okay. I mean, the dApps, sure, they have their short time in the spotlight, but it's just that. It's just short time in the spotlight, mm-hmm. right? So the real money, the real growth, the 100x returns are with the brand new blockchains that are possibly competing with Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. Mm-hmm. But like Bitcoin will always be like reigning supreme just from the brand or do you have like this um, Bitcoin apocalypse coming on? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm more bullish long term on Ethereum than Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin will always be, I think, a top five crypto. Yeah. But I feel like Bitcoin will just have a few use cases, mm-hmm. right? Just breaking and, the virginity of um, right, yeah, all um, the new <laughs> crypto uh, people. Yeah, and then, but I think it's kind of like different types of drinks, right? You have water, you have juice, you have soda, mm-hmm. you have vodka, alcohol, wine, right? The same thing in crypto. Like every project will have its own niche to kind of tailor to, right? Yeah. So Bitcoin cool. will be more of the reminiscence niche, and maybe some other smaller use cases. But I don't think it's going to be. Well, it will truly have to change, right? And Bitcoin mm-hmm. right now is having issues with governance and all that yeah. stuff. So I feel like other projects could take advantage of that. So starting off, like for the newbie entrepreneur, like a lot, of, like I said, a lot of people do drop some stuff that they want to get into crypto. What would be like your Zero to one hundred k game plan for them starting off. Zero to one hundred k game yeah. plan. The good stuff. This is what they well, want. I mean, it like. depends how much money you're starting with, right? So if okay. you started, well, whatever you're starting with, right? Let's say you have one grand, right? Yeah. I would break it down. I would focus purely on ICOs, purely on infrastructure projects, and basically put the most amount of money in the top project I like based on mm-hmm. whatever system you have of scoring the ICOs, right? And it's really cool, guys, because like for example, ICOs. What they mean is initial coin offerings. Or basically what it is, it's, you know, back in the day when like Facebook, when Snapchat, when Twitter, when they had like an IPO, right? And they were going public, that you were able to get them on the stocks, like in your exchanges and stuff like that. Um, what it basically is, is back then, you know, only like the rich people had the access to it, right? Access to it, right? You know, yeah. you had like the wealthy and then the poor that were always stuck because they didn't have that opportunity. But like with an ICO and why I think like it's so inspirational what you're doing because 
literally like you see the people that are like, oh, I was nothing. I had like one thousand dollars. Now I made up my first one hundred thousand dollars in three months because of your videos or something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's because of the fact that literally, like anyone, it doesn't matter how tall, how old, how young, or how like lack of education you have, anyone can do it as long as you do your due diligence yeah. and like looking at the team, looking at the other prototype, and just basically following Ian Bellina on uh, social media. <laughs> um, but kind of let, let's talk about that because that's like a big idea in itself, man. Just yeah. for normal people to have access to this multi-billion, multi, even trillion dollar industry that we're going to be in with uh, ICOs. Yes, yeah, a true, it's the biggest transfer of wealth in the world, in world history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where anybody has access to basically become millionaires. Yeah, like I've seen so many that people become millionaires in crypto. It's, it's crazy, mm -hmm. right? From me to to Ugo to other people, right? I just had a friend of mine in, in a group today become a, become one as well. Yeah, right. Then I had somebody else a few weeks ago tell me, hey, Ian, I'm only putting like five thousand euros into this and made my first million in like six or seven months. In yeah, crypto. He, he made it. I'm, I'm not going to show you who it is, but he, he just made it too. But they don't know who it is. He's, he's very <laughs> low-key, so we can't, we can't introduce Super him. Super low-key. <laughs> Super low-key, yeah. Um, but yeah, oh man, that's freaking amazing, man. And what I want to know is how much longer is this opportunity going to exist? I think we're still early. Yeah. Right? So one thing I learned when I went to the conference, right, my first conf crypto conference, right, people told me they got into Bitcoin and crypto when Bitcoin was like 200 bucks. They, oh. thought, they, they thought they were late. 200 bucks? They thought they were late. Yeah. And they told me it's never too late, right? You think you're always late, but it's, it's still early. Because this, this is not mainstream yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, it's now getting more attention and stuff. But once we have mainstream dApps, mainstream attention, where people travel the world, go anywhere, use Bitcoin, yeah. there's still room for growth. Damn. Right? So, because I'm just thinking about this, right? Compare this to the oil and gas industry, compare this to the dot-com boom, compare this to all those different, different industries, right? Mm -hmm. Crypto right now is still less than a trillion dollar cap total, yeah. right? I mean, some people are saying this could go to, to 80 trillion, right? So this is still early. Damn. Like, we'll have the first tr trillion dollar companies ever from crypto. Crypto is probably going to be the first trillion dollar company. Trillion. These blockchain companies, right? Their founders are going to be yeah. trillionaires. <laughs> it's crazy, okay. right? Because actually recently, right, one of the co-founders of Ripple now is supposedly one of the richest guys in the world. He, he right? passed Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Was, oh, was, dang. It was, it, was, it was crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So it shows you the growth. There's still so much growth left. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's number one, insane. That's number one. Two, number two, exciting, dude. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's just crazy. So, so what I want to know, last question, so, so just everyone understands. You are a very smart person. I think you're basically psychic. I don't know if you could like, <laughs> you, you know things that other people can't see. You can see the future. You know which companies are going to pop, which aren't. Uh -huh. You literally call the shots and everyone like, you probably have the best hit rate for the success rate on which ones you actually will say successful. And uh -huh. it's like backed by proof from like your students. Yeah that you give value for free. He doesn't even have a course, guys. That's how crazy it is um, and how amazing of a uh, teacher this guy is, seriously. But what I want to know is where did this entrepreneur spirit come from? Was it your mom? Was it your dad? Was it growing uh, up? I would say probably my mom. My, yeah. my mom has always been an entrepreneur. Yeah. Right? She had a shop back in Africa, even over here in America. Okay. Uh, she's always been an entrepreneur. And just from wanting freedom, right? Yeah. I've seen my dad. My dad has done everything by the book. He has mm -hmm. a PhD in engineering, yeah. gone through the corporate world, everything, right? And I've seen how he gets treated in the, in the corporate world still. Mm -hmm. Right, you're basically just a, a cog in the machine. Yeah. Right. So I always told myself I have to have my own way to make money, not just a day job. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's where the, the the whole hustle, the greatness thing comes from, from being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing, man. So what I want to know, any last piece of wisdoms, words, or advice you would want to give to them, um, so that they could actually get on board if they're not on board with crypto. Uh, I mean, if you if you're not on board on crypto. <laughs> this is probably gonna, going to be the biggest L of your life. Biggest L. Biggest L of a lifetime. Now, this is just my opinion. It's not financial advice, but <laughs> you guys are going to miss the boat, the rocket ship. Like, imagine seeing all your friends who got in. Lambos. And like, <laughs> Lambos. That, that could have been me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, I had a mentor earlier on in 18, when I was 18 years old. He said there's three types of people in the world when it comes to business opportunity. People that make things happen, people that watch things happen, and people that go, what the fuck just happened? And I'm going to tell you, there's going to be so many people that see this and be like, dude, I knew that guy. Like, I was his boss. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I had my coworkers on IBM, guys I was working with, partying yeah. with, whatever. They saw me post my blog folio every single day when it was under 20 grand. Every single day. Mm -hmm. In less than, what, like six months or a year? Yeah. It's now four million. Now they're saying, hey, Ian, how do I buy Bitcoin now? Oh, man. It took them that long to get in. Yeah. And I was like, guys, you should have got in when it was under 20 grand. Like, they you up. have to believe from the start. And like, 
a year from now, you guys are gonna wish that you got in when Bitcoin was beneath twenty grand. Yeah. That, that's that's the crazy thing. So guys, hope that helps. If you want more of Ian, you have a blog, Ian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my site is ianbalina.com. Mm-hmm. I a n b a l i n a dot com. I have a social media channel on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Diary of a Made Man is my handle on YouTube, Twitter. Instagram, and I'll put Snapchat, all the links in the description. All that, right? And I share lots of free content. I have a vlog as well. Yeah. I'm traveling the world right now, sharing the crypto lifestyle. Entourage. Yeah, so definitely check it out. Dropping rap music, mixtapes yeah, and something. Making a rap yeah. video. Rap video. We have a mixtape coming out. I have a song called Moon Lambo. So check <laughs> it out. It is legit. Yeah, guys. So hopefully that helps make you like, comment, and subscribe to all of Ian's stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.